Hey guys, it's Gameplay Sir, and welcome back to the FIFA 19 beta video. Now, in today's video, we're going to be going through some inside information into new features on the FIFA 19 beta, and obviously in the full game when it does get released. In particular, I'm going to be going through kickoff mode. It's been revamped by EA, and we're going to be going through some of the new features there, as well as talk about some other aspects and other things as well. So, I do want to quickly, first of all, say that I did do a video uh, yesterday, day before, can't remember now, a couple of days ago anyway, uh, where I basically went through all the club budgets, uh, all the main club budgets anyway, on the FIFA 19 beta. You can click that in the top right-hand corner if you want to go and watch it. I'll also be doing uh, one focused on career mode as well, so giving you some inf inside information on the career mode side of things. That might be a short video uh, from what I've seen so far. It doesn't look like there's loads of changes, but I'll go through some of them because I have seen some changes in career mode. And uh, we'll also be going through um, gameplay as well. I'll be giving some information on that in a separate video. And then there might well be another video on some more club budgets because actually there's quite a few different teams I didn't go through, um, like the Scottish League teams, for example, the Turkish teams, which people have requested, Iridivisi, that sort of thing. So I might do a separate one if you guys are interested in that in the comments section below. Let me know down below. That'd be absolutely fantastic. Also, before we go any further, if we could try and hit 100 likes on today's video, then I'd really appreciate it. Also, if you haven't already, please go ahead, hit that subscribe button as well down below and that'd be absolutely fantastic. I'd really appreciate you helping me. I'm trying to hit 20,000 subscribers so it'd be absolutely fantastic if you could join the channel by hitting that subscribe button. And uh, yeah, thank you all so much for the support on the first video that I did of these of this as well. Absolutely incredible as usual. So thank you so much for that guys. Let's go and talk about um, some of the new features in FIFA 19 and EA have given us a revamp of kickoff. Something we didn't ask for, but uh, they've given us it anyway, and that'd be fine if they had made changes to career mode, but largely it doesn't seem like they have made that many changes. And so it does kind of beg the question as to why have they revamped kickoff? We didn't really ask for it, but they have brought in some interesting things. I'm going to be going through them. I've written down some notes, so I will be looking down at those notes in order to make sure I go through everything that I want to talk about in today's video. Okay, so first of all, kickoff's changed a little bit in that now you can basically track uh, your stats and how you get on against the AI, but also against your friends as well. So kickoffs will come a place to play against your friends if you want to, and you can keep that running if you keep their game attacks saved and these sort of things. There's a lot of intricacies that I won't necessarily go into because they're not that interesting, but basically you can track those stats now, and it's almost like a head-to-head -head seasons type feel within kickoff, basically. But there's loads of other new sort of features within that that are broken down. So not only can you just play a standard match, a classic match as they call it, you can also do house rules, which has been mentioned and I'll be using a lot of the screenshots that EA have provided us already in order to demonstrate what I'm talking about here because I can't actually show you footage of the beta. So uh, they've, they've obviously introduced house rules and um, they're quite keen to let us know that they've got the Champions League and Europa League license so you can play Champions League matches, you can't play Europa League, only Champions League which I thought was a bit weird. Uh, you can also do cup finals as well which we're going through as well as home and away and best of series. So let's go through them uh, one by one, classic match we all know uh, we've all played it on kickoff and got a little bit bored and house rules is kind of the newest thing that brought in and probably the most interesting thing I think for people how much it's going to be used I'm not really too sure because it's not necessarily online that uh, I don't believe so um, it is going to be basically uh, several different modes within house rules so for example there's long range mode there's survival there's headers and volleys there's first two and then there's no rules as well so there's a few different modes within house rules if we go through them individually um, first of all long range is I think well that has been spoken by actually by EA basically um, you can get two goals for scoring outside of the box that's basically what long range is um, so it's a little game mode within kickoff if you score from outside the box it counts as two goals if it's inside the box it still just counts as one goal that's basically it um, it's a bit of a, a strange uh, introduction that they've made but maybe it's just to spice things up a little bit on the kickoff front again like I said before not that we actually asked for it so um, yeah, a bit, bit bizarre, but again, there's also another one called Survival. Survival's a little bit interesting, actually, because uh, when you score, a random player on your team gets ejected from the game. So again, this has been mentioned by EA quite a bit, um, but this is quite an interesting game mode where uh, when you score a goal, you actually lose a player, uh, which makes things a little bit interesting, again, on uh, kickoff. And uh, you can have up to four players ejected per team, so it doesn't actually go to a situation where it's 1v1, um, which kind of makes you wonder why they've done this game mode if it doesn't get that interesting. Um, so it is actually only up to four players that can be ejected at once. There's also a situation where you can only have up to two red cards as well, uh, and then if you get beyond two red cards, then the match is automatically forfeited. So it's a little bit strange. I mean, if they'd wanted to make something that was particularly fun or entertaining, then 
I'd have probably just made it so that you can get to a situation where it can be literally two players on a pitch, 1v1. That would have been quite interesting. However, they have limited it to just four players being ejected from the team. So it kind of ruins the fun a little bit there. But uh, we'll wait and see if that does get changed uh, for the full release. Uh, but just something I noticed that I thought was just a little bit bizarre. So the, basically the best situation you could be in is seven versus seven, I think, on either team then that's it. Uh, I'm not really too sure what more to say about that. But it is a bit of a bizarre game mode that has been introduced by EA there to try and make things a bit more interesting uh, for kickoff. Uh, then obviously you have headers and volleys. We all know what to expect here. You can only score from headers and volleys. That's what I thought. Actually, you can score other goals, but they do get disallowed, basically. So the way that it works is heading and volley um, obviously counts as just one goal. And this also includes free kicks and penalties. So not strictly just headers and volleys. So it doesn't really make that much sense once again, but uh, there you go, headers and volleys mode within house rules. Uh, basically you score by heading or volleying, and um, you can also score by free kicks and penalties as well. So for some reason, uh, you can still score from set pieces by the looks of it. I don't think that does include um, corners though, I should add. There's nothing mentioned about that, so I'm not too sure. Um, the rest of the goals are disallowed. So if you score in any other way, it's disallowed, it doesn't count. Interestingly though, uh, to be a volley, it just have, the ball literally just has to be in the air. So I think it can have actually bounced. So it's not technically a, a proper volley that you have to score. I'm pretty sure the rules actually state that the ball literally just has to be in the air when you hit it. So it's not as difficult as it may seem because obviously volley situations don't happen that often. Maybe when you've crossed it out wide and you hit it first time. But actually the ball from what they are saying in the game mode just has to literally be in the air. It can have bounced as many times as you want by the sound of it. Again, it seems a little bit strange. The penultimate um, part of house rules is another one called first two. This one's pretty self-explanatory. Basically, you set a score uh, to which the match ends. So first to three, for example. When the person gets the three goals, the game ends no matter what time you're in. And uh, that is uh, something that can be set as uh, literally the first person to score a goal. So golden goal, basically. Uh, if one person scores, then the game is over. You can set it to however many you want. Uh, I believe the limit might well be five or seven, possibly. Just checked, the limit's three. First to three is the most you can do on that one, which again is a little bit weird. Um, so yeah, that's a bit of a bizarre one. Again, I'm not really too sure why they've introduced all this. We haven't actually asked for it. They've done it anyway. Um, there's been a lot of people mentioning the likes of FIFA Street and things like that. As far as I'm aware, that's not happening. I mean, it might be a separate game that comes out that I'm not aware of, but as far as in kickoff, FIFA Street, no, doesn't exist at all. The way that the first two plays is the match clock still goes, basically, so you can still go to full time, you can still go into extra time, you can still go into penalties, I believe, as well. Yeah, so you can still be decided by penalties as well. So even if you are playing a first to three game, for example, and it gets to a situation where it's 2-2, you can still go into penalties. So I'm not really too sure about these game modes, to be honest, but this is literally what's been introduced. They seem a little bit strange, but we'll go with it. And uh, the final one is the no rules one, which could actually be fairly interesting. And uh, basically no rules works by it's just a regular match, but there's also the twist by the fact that there's no rules. So no offsides, uh, no fouls, no bookings, etc., which means you can kind of just do whatever you want, really. I mean, you can literally just goal hang if you really want to, which, again, would be very interesting. I'm keen to try that out, and I guess we'll have to wait and see how often it gets used by people. I'm not so convinced, but it might make it interesting if you ever play FIFA with your mates. I don't know whether it works online. I think it might, but don't quote me on that one. And, uh, yeah, it's just uh, sort of an added uh, bonus, really, into kickoff which we didn't ask for. Another interesting thing that they have done though, to be fair, is you can do now starting scores, which I think is quite an interesting uh, feature that uh, is only a small little change, but I think could be quite interesting. So you can set the score which you want the game to start at, and this can be across any of those game modes that I've mentioned in house rules. Uh, I don't actually know what the highest uh, you can set is. Uh, we'll have a little look now. Okay, so the highest starting score that you can set I think it's three goals. No, it's five goals, uh, the highest starting score. So you can actually set it to be 5-0 before you even start the game. Uh, which, again, is a little change. An interesting one, maybe, for some people. Um, but you can do up to five goals per team there. Okay, outside of house rules, there's obviously some more things you can do with kickoff. Um, basically, you've got the UEFA Champions League, as EA have mentioned a lot. You can go and do a group stage match there. You can also go do a semi-final. You can do a final as well. So there's three options there. Only Champions League, there's no Europa League on there, as far as I'm aware. Uh, certainly not on the beta anyway. Um, so it's the Champions League you can play for. You can just play a random group game. You can play a random semi-final match or a random final. 
a little bit strange, but they've integrated it like that. Uh, you can also do cup finals. This is actually quite interesting, cup finals, so maybe uh, something that you might want to do at some point. Basically, the way that this works is you can play any cup competition across any of the cups on the game. Uh, so basically the way that this works is you click on to cup finals and you can click on to a featured cup final. For example, a featured cup final right now is uh, there's the Emirates FA Cup, there's the MLS one, there's the Champions League, Europa League and Super Cup. They're all featured right now. But you can also delve into like an A to Z of different cup finals. Again, a little bit bizarre, but you can do this. So if you wanted to play, I don't know, the Portuguese uh, Cup, whatever that may be, I can't remember off the top of my head, or if you wanted to play the Swiss Cup or whatever, the Polish Cup, you can just do that in kickoff if you want to. You click on it and you just pick a team that you want to play as from the Polish league. You play another team and it's just sort of a normal kickoff match, but you actually play for a cup at the end of the game. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's again a little bit different, maybe a little bit uncalled for, but we've, we've got it anyway. You, if you want to try and win the, the Polish cup at any point, you can do it on kickoff. That obviously includes the Checker Trade Trophy as well, which is a very exciting one if you want to play with a League 1 or League 2 team at any point. They've also added a section which is called Home and Away. Now this basically is just an aggregate match, uh, to put it simply. So you play two legs, uh, one at home, one at away, and then the aggregate scoreline is sort of decided on. That includes away goals as well, by the way, so uh, if you find yourself in a situation where away goals count, then that counts in order to to see who wins the match as well across those two legs. So it's another sort of um, addition they've made to kick off, another sort of form of match that you can play if you really want to in a kickoff environment. Uh, and then finally, the one that is maybe worth talking about for about 30 seconds is uh, best of series, another one that they've added. Basically you play the best of a series. Uh, that series can either be three matches or five matches and the winner is determined at the end of it. So this is the new little kickoff, um, but they have added some interesting game modes, which to be fair, you might want to play if you ever get bored. Um, but I just I just feel like it's sort of an unnecessary addition that we didn't really want. Um, but there has been a massive sort of redesign of uh, when you select the size of the menus after that part, after that point as well. And like I say, the fact you are able to track the stats versus the AI or versus your friend, etc., is quite good. But uh, again, I would rather that time be focused on career mode, personally. So yeah, that's basically it. That's what I wanted to go through in today's video. I wanted to give you some inside information into the new look of kickoff, really, and uh, different things you can do on that. Because House Rules has been mentioned quite a bit. It's not really been explained that well, I don't think, by EA. So I've gone through it here. I'll be going through loads of other things over the next few days as well. Hopefully tomorrow, once I've played some more career mode myself, hopefully tomorrow uh, there'll be some sort of inside information on that. So I'll be able to give you all the new features. The, the the handful of new features that, that are available that I've seen so far anyway there might be some more that I haven't actually seen to be fair but I'll include them into tomorrow's video uh, so that should be out by about midday UK time look forward to that and also if you want to know any more sort of club budgets and I want me to do a separate video on that let me in the comment section below if I haven't included them in the uh, video that you can find in the top right hand corner and that's basically everything for today's video thank you all so much for watching guys really do appreciate the support recently on the beta videos it's absolutely fantastic um, please go ahead hit that like button trying to hit 100 likes on today's video if possible and don't forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel click the notifications button if you want to get notified when these new videos come out obviously with me doing beta videos at the moment it might be quite handy thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time goodbye